Hello, my friends. So here we are in part four where it's our turn now. And it's telling us to use the blocks from this programming stack to create a program that turns our robot, the driving base, 90 degrees, then drives forward, and finally drives in the specified pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this kind of my block. Okay. And I know, and hopefully this specified pattern, we know if we're going to turn 90 degrees, so 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 360 degrees. That's four turns. So what shape realistically is that going to be? Um, it's going to be a square. So um, we're going to pr try to do this using these blocks. And just for the sake of clarity for this, this demo walkthrough, I'm just going to make a new block. We could actually just replace this. But I want you to be able to see that in terms of how we could go about creating a my block in case you haven't done it before. So I'm here to my blocks. I'm going to click make a block. I'm going to call it square and I'm going to hit save. So now we've got our square block here. And now what I want to do is I have this defined square. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just bring it. I'll just bring it down here actually. And I'm going to cross this off so, so we can see this stand by stand. Now the directions say here, this is where it's a little bit different than the canvas that we've had already. You can see here in the previous program in step three that we demoed, our robot would move forward to rotation, then it would start to move to the right at 10% speed until the gyro registered 120 degree change or more, then it would stop moving. Our instructions here say that our driving base needs to turn 90 degrees, then drive forward. So we need to keep that in mind. So I'm going to go here to uh, control and I'm going to use this repeat block that they had in their code and we know that 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 360 so we know we're going to have four repeats for our square. And then what we can actually do is we're going to go ahead and just duplicate some of these blocks here. I'm going to pull these out and we know that we need to turn first, right? We need to turn 90 degrees. So we're going to do that and we're going to wait until it's changed more than 90 and then we're going to move forward and let's go ahead and just do that for we'll do two rotations and hopefully that'll be enough there for us we might have to maybe go a little bit longer actually let's just do three to be safe all right so we're going to go it's going to stop and let's put just i'm going to put a weight block in here just so that we can see that it's actually working here a little bit easier as well. So the weight block maybe isn't needed, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in here so we can see. So it's going to turn once it gets 90 degrees, it's going to stop for one second. It's going to move forward for three rotations. It's going to do this four times. Now what we got to do here is we got to re put one of these blocks in. So I'm actually just going to duplicate this again as well, just so we have it. Um, this one, I'm not changing the code, but I could just replace this. I could, if I want to just delete this pattern block and in my, in my blocks bring over square but for the sake of this program I just want you to be able to see side by side so I'm going to choose um, the down button and instead of pattern we'll use square so now let's go ahead and download this and see if this program works all right so here we go See if it reaches to the tape. Hopefully, close enough, good enough. Boom, not too bad. So, there is our square using the my block and the gyro sensor. <laughs> Oh, my God.